Hey everyone, welcome new and old to my Tricks Illustration channel. Today I have another collaboration to share with you all with a fellow artist here on YouTube. Katie Von Art is a traditional media artist that's been sharing her art and craft tips, bead paints and challenges on YouTube since late 2017. If you're familiar at all with her channel or work, you may have already met her mouse character, Charlie McNeil. He pops up in a variety of her videos and has become a cheeky familiar face and icon for her channel. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, I've left a link in the video description below for you guys to visit her when you get the chance. But stick around before you do because it's time for a new art challenge. Katie and I decided to challenge ourselves to create works on each of our favorite animals in a traditional and digital swap. Hence we dubbed this the Tradigital Swap. Trust me when I say it took a couple takes for me to get that word out. We each had to work with both medias, so I decided I wanted to create the sketch of my favourite animal traditionally on paper. So I dusted off my mixed media art journal that I haven't opened up since my classic tricks pastel video and got to work on a wolf concept suggested by one of my Patreons, Blue Mare Luna. She actually proposed I draw a wolf and cub for the sketch I would swap, and I came to like the idea a lot. I've always been fond of the protective wolf-mother dynamic, so I wanted to capture my two wolves huddled close together with the pup curling up close before distressing his expression and ears a bit more to really get the comfort seeker concept across. Sketch finished, I scanned them as a high resolution JPEG to send Katie's way. If you want to see what she does next with these two wolves, be sure to follow the link in the card or description below to check out her video. So Katie's favourite animal was a red panda, which funnily enough was another animal close to my heart when I was young as well. And here's the sketch she sent my way that I get to digitally paint as the second half of our digital challenge. So to start things off, I did a rough anatomy sketch off screen to be sure I understood the pose the little guy was in before I separated the sketch from the white background and bumped the opacity down to start laying down the base colour. So from transitioning from sketch to paint, I adjusted the body a bit here and there just so the form would appear a bit more anatomically correct while still remaining loyal to the sketch. For example, one of the more necessary changes I figured was to give him an extra toe on his front paw. Looking at the reference images I had to work with, I wasn't 100% sure how many toes Red Panda has, but I knew he needed at least four to look a little more like the photo I was working with. Just to mess with me, I bet Red Pandas actually do have five toes on their front paws, different to how maybe a cat's paw is, where they have that extra toe positioned higher up on the front leg. If it had been more like a cat, I could have gotten away with saying the fifth toe was hidden from view because of the angle. But oh well, moving on. Just like my photo reference, I wanted to situate Katie's red panda in a lush green environment, so I built up a bit of green depth behind him before I got to work on his shadow layers with a similar colour to make sure he appeared a part of the setting around him. Working with a solid shadow layer and erasing back the light hitting him from the left, I started building up his form. want to lose his limbs too badly going forward so I had to lighten up the black of his fur a bit to allow for the shadow layers I was adding on top but otherwise he was coming together nicely. After laying down the initial overlay layer of yellow light I wasn't quite liking how the green and yellow worked together on his fur so with a bit of hue tweaking I came across this nice pale blue that overlaid and highlighted his base colors rather nicely so with that the colors of his environment needed to change to support the new light source toning down the forest green for a more minty green ended up appealing a lot more to my eye
actually carving out the shape of the rock tree hybrid. Because I can't figure out which it looks more like in the painting. I played the colour treatment by eye, shifting the hues until the overall balance no longer seemed sickly in its initial saturation of blue and green, and to bring back the vibrance of his red panda fur. Then after refining the texture of the platform below him and sharpening up his fur and whiskers, I framed our focus on the painting by adding a fringe of plants to either side of the bottom corners which added a bit more depth of field to the piece in the end as well. Then with a couple more adjustments he was done. Thanks so much Katie for collaborating with me on this challenge, I hope you like how your red panda turned out. And to the rest of you, if you're new here and you like this video, please consider subscribing for more art videos in the future. Thanks for watching everyone, if you enjoyed this video be sure to click that like button or leave a comment below. If you haven't already be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I upload every fortnight and feel free to check out some of my other videos in the meantime. See ya!